It's so after a decade of living in LA, Rachel and I are hitting the road. Look who's joining us. Hey. Captain, here's our top reasons for why we're leaving. We all know the big one wiped out the entertainment industry here in LA, but the glamour and excitement of Hollywood is still alive. Very funny. There's a homeless crisis happening in LA and it's projected to go up. Walking anywhere on Hollywood Boulevard, downtown, Venice Beach, it's starting to feel like you're walking in a third world country. And it's reached to a level where it personally affected us. It was getting to the point where I couldn't even go out for a walk every day without having homeless people coming at me physically or following me back to the apartment um, or even going to the grocery store, going from my car to the grocery store inside of the grocery store. It was becoming such a continual thing. And I even had an incident at work where I had to call the cops. And basically they told me that there was nothing they could do because of it being private property and because of COVID, because you know the person wasn't wearing a mask. So I just felt like I could barely do anything without worrying for my safety. We had homeless people try to break into our apartment in the middle of the night, I called the cops, came by, and they discovered that there was a homeless encampment behind our apartment complex. Cops didn't do anything about it. Called up my manager, didn't do anything about it. We felt really hopeless. We didn't know what to do. I was getting hit up by my friends on the Citizen app that were following me from other states and countries that were genuinely concerned because they saw how much crime was happening, like almost on the hour. Man with a knife, man with a machete, someone dying, someone getting shot. And this was just, became so common and it got to the point where I just had to turn my notifications completely off and eventually just deleted the app. Two, cost of living. It's true what they say about living in LA. It can be very expensive. First big ticket item was, of course, rent. To be completely transparent, we were paying about $3,000 for a two bedroom townhouse and utilities probably racked about to be two hundred, maybe $300 a month. And that was including two parking spaces. Yeah, parking. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Parking. PTSD there. Oh, street <laughs> parking. Oh my gosh. We had that tandem parking though. But if you didn't have parking, which a lot of folks in LA don't, they, you know, you depend on street parking. If you don't move your car whenever street cleaning is coming through, they're either going to ticket you or they're going to take your car away, which has happened to me a number of times. <laughs> Frank racked up on those to say the least. I had a lot of parking tickets. You didn't read the signs. Signs are like on top of signs. When there's signs on top of other signs, there's signs for a sign. It just, it it's gets like... a little much. It got to a point where I got rid of my car <laughs> <laughs> and I decided to take an Uber or Lyft everywhere because I didn't like parking. Because you couldn't read the signs. <laughs> I couldn't read the signs apparently. And I, I, I called the 101 the one no fun because I didn't like sitting in stagnant parking. I really didn't like the insane gas prices. That was, it was yeah. killing me. Driving in LA is just, Oh, uh. so next up on expenses is food. Um, didn't mind, you know, making this a priority, but we were shopping local as much as possible, going to the farmer's markets. And so, you know, beginning of the year, especially, these would rack up to be three, four, sometimes even $500 a month just in quality food and we always wanted to support local businesses and markets. That got a little pricey and then that's not including memberships, right? Like going to the gym, um, having the movie theater me memberships of course before they closed. Add the 9.5 California tax on top of all that and it just didn't add up anymore. Like many other people, um, I unfortunately lost majority of my work, you know, when the pandemic hit and thankfully Frank ended up with more work but, um, you know, months pass. Eventually I started to get some more work that was strictly online and he was also strictly online. So we were like, why are we paying this premium? Yeah, when we realized we could do this anywhere in the world without the LA price tag, that's when the light bulb went off. The cost of living in LA wasn't equivalent to the cost of the culture anymore. We realized we were paying this huge premium to live in LA when all the things that we were really paying for, the experience was no longer. So that said, we'd like to highlight what we'll miss. This is our love letter to LA. Man, we're really doing this, huh? Yeah, I can't believe it. What were your favorite LA memories? Hmm. That's a good question. Finger walking through records and movies at the counterpoint. Hiking up the Griffith Observatory. 
Witnessing John Williams maestro the LA Philharmonic Orchestra every summer at the Hollywood Bowl. Seeing live shows at the Shrine. Dancing at sunsets on the beach. Being on a film set. Walking on a studio lot where your favorite childhood memories were shot. Meeting Jif the Palm at the Finding Dory premiere on the Warner Brothers lot. Laughing with my friends at the comedy store. Attending premieres and drive-ins. Spending summer nights in Chinatown. Walking LA Pride for California Equality. Attending a filmmaker Q&A at the Arclight, the Egyptian, the Vista, or the New Bev. Catching Mulholland Boulevard at Montalban Theater. Catching a game ball at the Dodger Stadium. Witnessing Coldplay perform an acoustic set at the Hollywood Palladium. Picnicking for a summer movie at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. Feeding Stanley the Giraffe at Malibu Wines. Thrifting at Melrose Trading Post. Walking up Beachwood Drive and finding the Beachwood Stairs. Most of all, we're going to miss all the friends that we've made here. Whether it's Jimmy at Pacific Auto Service. Rick Walters at Theatercraft Playhouse. Chewbacca on Hollywood Boulevard. Max Fullard at Silver Lake Flea. <laughs> Joe at Golden Apple. Khan at Mink Kink Lashes. Melissa at Flying Embers Brewery. Richard at Pickpocket Vintage. Naomi at Sunset Plaza Salon. Tom at Tom's One Hour Photo. The staff at Tailwaggers. Gary Ann at the Arclight. 